whenever you're starting your ATM business and you're, you got your bank account set up, you got the LLC, go ahead and set up a, with a processing company. Now, what you want to target is free unlimited processing for your ATM business, meaning you don't pay uh, processing fees 100% free and you don't get tied up under a contract. Welcome guys. Welcome. Welcome. Juan Geronimo, newest CEO of ATM Together guys. If you guys are excited for tonight's live training guys, we are going to go over how to build a sustainable ATM business. Now, when you're building an ATM business guys, number one, excuse me, like I said, don't start with the expectations to start generating $10,000 a month, right? You're not going to get rich quick with the ATM business. Whenever I started this business, I wanted to start it off like a full-time business, a business where, you know, I want to replace my income, my nine to five income and, and, you know, be financially free. That Those are the intentions that I was coming into the business with, but I wasn't expecting it to be all sunshine and flowers, right? I knew I was going to, ha going to have hiccups along the way. I knew there was going to be problems along the way, but I was always doing my due diligence and investing in myself so that I can prepare myself for these situations. So don't come into this business if you think that you're going to get rich quick, right? Um, you're not, it's, it, you can start it off as a side hustle and eventually you can break financial freedom. Eventually you can use it as a vehicle to help you start up other businesses. Whenever I started my ATM business, I was only making like 250 bucks a month from one of my first ATM. That wasn't enough to, 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 uh, get me to financial freedom. That was barely enough to, you know, pay for my, 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 uh, my insurance or my phone bill. Right. But I didn't give up. I kept going. And that's one of the main things that you need when starting your sustainable ATM business, right? Overcoming limited beliefs, right? Whenever I started my ATM business, I mean, I had so many people tell me, how are you going to make money off $3, right? How are you going to make money off $3? You know, what if your ATM gets robbed? What, what if all the money that you put inside, you know, it gets robbed and now you're down, you're, you're down the whole, you know, $5,000, $6,000. Those are limited beliefs that I was hearing, you know, from family, friends telling me, hey, I don't think this is a good idea um, that you could potentially get robbed, whether your ATM gets robbed or you get robbed in person or, or you really think you're going to make money with $3 every single transaction. What if it only does one transaction? What if it only, I mean, I've heard it you know, forever for like the first couple months, um, left and right from, from people that were, you know, that, that, that were trying to hold me back, right. Give it, you know, uh, portraying those limited beliefs onto me. And I didn't let that get to me. Right. I believed in myself. I believed in the process. And that's one of the things that you guys need when starting your ATM business, you're, you're not going to scale your business. If you just check it out for a little bit, you start off with your first ATM, you don't see results and you quit. You're never going to see results like that right? It's the same thing if you go to the gym or if you go, if you know, if, if you're uh, trying to get a promotion at a job, right? You're, you're not going to lose weight if you only go to the gym for one week, right? Or one month. You're not going to get a promotion if you're working at a job uh, part-time or, or you're only working, you know, three days a week, right? Someone else that's working five days a week is going to get that promotion before you, right? Someone that's going to the gym and staying consistent for the next year, year and a half, and is also eating well, is going to get the results faster than you, right? So what I'm trying to get at guys is whenever you're starting your ATM business, guys, don't stop, right? Stay consistent, stay patient. And most importantly, guys, discipline, right? Uh, whenever I started my ATM business, I had a lot of money sitting in my bank account and I could have easily spent it on vacations or going out and partying with my friends. I mean, I was getting invited to, to go out every weekend. I could have easily gone and blown out my money and be like, oh, I started already. I placed my first ATM. You know, I could use a thousand to go out and have fun. No, right? Don't get sidetracked, guys. Don't let these people put these limited beliefs onto you because that's what's going to slow you down, right? So whenever you're starting your sustainable ATM business, you want to put your head in the game, tunnel vision, and go to what you're aiming for, which is one ATM, two ATMs, three ATMs, however many ATMs you want to place in the first year, go for it. Guys, I have stories from all my students um, and here at ATM, to, uh, ATM Together where we help students, you know, fulfill their, 
you know, dream of, of, of placing five, seven, 10 ATMs on, on location in the first year. I have a, I have a student where, you know, he, he was already making six figures a year project manager for a multi-million dollar company. He has a college degree and everything. He was like, Hey, I'm making good money, but I have to trade my time for work. I had to constantly show up for work, put 40 or 50 hours a week to, to get what I am, what I'm making today. How can you help me generate passive income? I taught him everything about the ATM business one-on-one. -on -one. I helped him out. He was like, Hey Juan, I want for my first year as my goal to play seven ATMs. Guys, this was last year. He currently has over seven now, but last year alone, we were able to hit that mark in not only a year, we hit that mark in like 10 months. So not even the year and we already hit his goal. So that th those are the things that you guys have to have in mind. You have to put on your, you know, if you have a, a, uh, a vision board and things like that, put that on there. You know, my goal for the first year, I want two three, four, five ATMs and set that as your goal guys and continue to work hard until you hit that goal. And if you hit that goal early, keep going. Don't give yourself a break, especially if you're not where you currently want to be at. Whenever I started my ATM business, I wasn't making, you know, enough to replace my nine to five. I wasn't making enough to get me to financial freedom. So even though I hit my goal in the first year, I didn't stop. I kept going. So this is what you guys have to have in, in your mind, your mindset when getting started with your ATM business. So how do you start your ATM business as most of you guys may ask? Well, to get started with your ATM business, you need to set up your LLC, your EIN, your company, right? You need to be able to form your company because number one, to start the ATM business, you cannot start it without an LLC. That's number one, right? Number two, we just talked about all the tax benefits and the tax breaks that you get as an ATM business owner. You cannot leverage these tax benefits or these tax breaks on your business without an LLC, without being a legit business, right? So therefore you need your LLC and you need your EIN. You can form your company online, whether it's inkfile.com or you can hire an accountant or tax professional to help you out with your LLC. But that's going to be step number one that you need whenever you get started with your ATM business. Now, number two, your, your business bank account. Now, most of you guys probably know banks, they're not so friendly when it comes to the ATMs. And that's just because the ATMs are uh, competitive uh, for them because they have ATMs, right? That's number one. They considered ATMs as a high risk business, you know, um, Back in the day, they used to money launder with ATMs. So banks, I mean, they're, they're on their toes when it comes to the ATM business. And uh, for those of you guys watching right now, here's a quick gem. Here's a golden nugget that I'm about to drop right now. So make sure you guys pay close attention and write this down. Whenever you're starting your ATM business, one thing that we have recommend as of recently is make sure that you guys, whenever you start up your LLC, whenever you start up your company, don't put ATM in your company name. Now, here's the reason why. Whenever banks see that you have ATM business or ATM inside of your name, right off the jump, it's a red flag, especially if it's a bank that does not work with the ATM business, right? So if you guys can name your business something else, I mean, at the end of the day, you got a wide range of, of names that you can name your business. I mean, you can name it as simple as Juan's, you know, enterprise or Juan's, uh, Juan's service or whatever, literally whatever you want to name it, you can name it. Right. Um, so make sure that you guys write that down and remember that if you're starting your ATM business in 2024, try to avoid putting ATM inside of your name because do just doing that little thing right there, guys, and you won't hear it anywhere else besides ATM business for beginners, guys, we're, we're here to help you out and give you all the gems. So note that, um, don't put ATM in your name because banks are only going to use that against you and make your life more complicated when landing a bank account. So name it anything else, but no ATM. Now, banks that you want to target, don't go after Chase. Don't go after Wells Fargo. Don't go after Bank of America. We call them the big three. These banks here do not work with the ATM business. Even if you got a long relationship with them and you've been banking with them since you were 15 or however however long you've been banking with them, guys, do not work with them. 
I trust me. I'm I'm speaking from experience, guys. Whenever I started my ATM business, I had Bank of Bank of America, and I've been banking with them since I was in high school. Um, when I started my first job. Now, once I opened up my ATM business, everything was going good. There was no problems. But guess what? Nine months in, whenever I showed up to withdraw some cash, they were like, hey, we can't give you access to your cash. Um, unfortunately, your bank account's getting shut down. Um, they told me to call a number. They were like, yeah, we're shutting down your bank. We don't work with the ATM business. We will send you a cashier's check to your mail. So now I had to wait one to two weeks. I think it was like seven to 14 business days uh, for them to send me a cashier's check with all the money inside of my bank account because they were shutting my account down. Guess what? That left me with no funds to fill up my ATMs. So I had to leave my ATMs out of service for two weeks because I did a mistake that I could have avoided all along if I would have did a little bit more research. That's one of the obstacles, one of the hiccups that I've gone through as a beginner. So this is why it's important, investing yourself, right? I would have knew this if I would have invested in myself, if I would have invested into a mentor. Um, and nine months into my business, I was I was solo dolo, right? I was all by myself. I was afraid to invest in myself. I was afraid to invest into programs and mentorships. But once I started to go through those struggles, I was like, screw it. I'm going to start investing in myself. So that's when I ended up reaching out to Paul. He helped me out. He brought me under the ATM together, um, you know, under the ATM together family and started helping me out and helping me with banks and sales and, and made my life a lot easier when starting my ATM business. He helped me set up a new bank account, all that good stuff. And now look at me, guys, CEO of ATM Together, guys. I went from a client to now CEO of ATM Together, guys. So, I mean, anything is possible, but not to get off topic, banks. You want to target credit unions. You want to target uh, local small banks in your area, you know, uh, city banks, um, uh, credit, credit unions like Navy Federal. I mean, the list can go on and on. We actually have an ATM business friendly business, uh, ATM business friendly bank list that we provide all of our clients that enroll with our programs so that they can successfully install or not install, but place, uh, set up their bank account for their ATM business. So once you set up your bank account, guys, you're pretty much ready to start finding a processing company and get your ATM ordered. I mean, typically when you're ordering an ATM and you're getting ready to start your ATM business and put it on location, you want to make sure that you're working with one-stop shops, right? It's only going to make it easier. It's only going to make your life a lot easier when, when starting your business because you don't have to go to different uh, you know, companies and buy ATM here, internet box here, processing here. It just makes it difficult. So. Whenever you're starting your ATM business and you you got your bank account set up, you got the LLC, go ahead and set up a processing, uh, set up a with a processing company. Now, what you want to target is free unlimited processing for your ATM business, meaning you don't pay uh, processing fees, 100% free, and you don't get tied up under a contract. Um, once you found that, now you're ready to order your ATM and program it. Whenever you find a processing company, they would normally help you program your ATM. Some of them don't. Some of them do. Excuse me. If you find a company, make sure that they can help you program your ATM because it's only going to make your, your life easier. Programming an ATM is not the easiest thing to do. So highly recommend you guys to get someone that's been doing it, whether it's your processing company or a mentor and have them walk you through the programming steps on your ATM business. Because if you mess something up, guess what? Whenever you take your ATM on location, it's not going to work, right? People aren't going to be able to use it. People aren't going to be able to take out any money. So get that taken care of, guys. And once you got that taken care of, you're pretty much ready to go. Um, if you guys enjoyed that, guys, if you guys enjoyed that, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and like the live. Spam the like button, guys. Let us know. Uh, let me know right now in the comments if you guys liked these presentations so far. Q and A time, guys. Q and A. Uh, Elijah, Elijah, I see. He said, uh, "Wish I had the funds to start." Now we do help out with funding. Uh, we do help help out with funding. Unfortunately, um, I, 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 we we won't touch base on funding in tonight's live training. But if you do need funding to start your ATM business. Go ahead and let us know. Go ahead and DM me um, or, or message me here on Facebook. Go ahead and uh, message me funding or comment in the comments funding. 
F-U-N-D-I-N-G. Go ahead and comment funding if you are interested in funding. And we'll go ahead and reach out to you with a little bit more information on funding and how we can help you start your ATM business by leveraging credit. Um, like I said, we won't touch base on that in today's uh, training, tonight's training, but we will touch base on that um, you know, in the, in the future. Um, I am a member of the ATM Together uh, team. How can I get a copy of the ATM Business Friendly Banks? So if you are currently an ATM Together client already, if you're part of our team um, and you're having a bit of an issue with uh, a, with banks, go ahead and reach out to me. Go ahead and uh, shoot me a message and let me know, hey, I, I need help with banks. I, I need the ATM Business Friendly Bank. And we'll go ahead and give you a list of banks that you can go ahead and check out. Uh, we got you. Do these ATMs accept EBT? Can we get some details on that? So yes, ATMs, believe it or not, do take EBT. They take credit cards as well, some credit cards um, and, and EBT, and then of course your debit cards. Um, some do, some don't, depending on the ATM and what, excuse me, and whether they set it up in their programming to accept it. You may put it in one ATM, like at a gas station, for example, and it may not uh, allow you to withdraw cash. But if they don't, that's probably because that ATM doesn't have it set up. I know on my ATMs, I do have it set up where we take EBT. Um, so it's it's a hit or miss, you know. But if you are an ATM business owner operator, you can set up your ATM to take EBT. How long does it take to get your LLC? So whenever you set up your LLC, it could take weeks. But one of my favorite things um, when setting up an LLC is I, I like to use Inkfile. I have three companies and for all three of my companies, I use Inkfile.com. Inkfile.com, I-N-C-F-I-L-E.com. Inkfile.com is by far my favorite because with Inkfile, you can pay, I think it's like 50 bucks to expedite your LLC right? So instead of receiving it the normal wait time that the state gives you, and that just depends on the state, right? It, every state varies, but it depends on your state um, and, and how soon they can get you. Normally, it's seven to 14 uh, business week, uh, business days, um, a couple weeks, you know? Um, but Inc. File, they give you an expedited option where you can pay 50 bucks, I think, um, set or 75. I forget what, what the what the number is, but it's like less than 100 bucks. And you can get your, your, your LLC within like the next couple of days. All right. I, I use that for all three of my companies because I'm, I'm eager to start anything that I start. So whenever I wanted to start my businesses, I paid those 50 bucks and I got my LLC in my mail literally in like two, three days, uh, four days, sometimes five days. So uh, you can get it as soon as a couple of days if you get the expedited uh, shipping for uh, under inkfile.com. Maybe other websites. Uh, we'll be able to do the same, but Inc. File by far my favorite. Um, it's what I know best. And, you know, every single student that I've helped start their ATM business, this is exactly how I teach them how to get their LLC uh, fast. So Inkfile.com, I-N-C-F-I-L-E.com. Can we call you personally? So you can send me a message. Uh, send me a message here on Facebook. Go ahead and send me a message with whatever questions, whatever, anything that you guys, uh, that you have. And then based off of your questions, if I can help you out th throughout, th through the message, I'll be able to uh, help you out. I'll be more than happy to help you out. And if you need any further information or, or, you know, you still need any further help, I will, I wouldn't mind jumping on a call with you and helping you out with whatever questions you have. So that goes to Mar uh, for Martha. Will, will we be able to write off the fee we pay ATM together to be part of the program? Yeah. So if you guys come as CEO and you guys take advantage of that $1,000 discount, or if you just, if you miss the $1,000 discount, but you want to get started and you still sign up with our program, ATM CEO or any of our packages, you can write that off as a pre expense as a startup expense for your business. So what, it, when you pay mentorships, courses, classes, anything that you, you, uh, that you pay for, to, for your business to help you scale your business, you can write off. So if you guys are taking advantage of this $1,000 discount and you still paid, I mean, to get started with our ATM program and just the ATM business in general, you can start off as low as four figures, four figures, guys, four figures. You can write that whole thing off. You can write that whole thing off at the end of the tax season and, you know, get that tax break. So yes, you can write off the payment that you make us whenever you sign up with our mentorship program.
After you file, what's the next step? So uh, after you get your LLC, you're ready for your EIN. Go to the IRS website, irs.com, and go to the search bar and type in apply for EIN. EIN is your employer identification number. It's kind of like your social for you, but it's a social. It's like your social for your business. This is how your business is going to be ultimately identified, right? Um, e your EIN, EIN in the IRS website. What's the cost of all of this? Um, I mean, it could range in anywhere near the low four figures to uh, low five figures. So it just really depends on your package. It, it depends on what you sign up with. If you sign up with our ATM CEO package, um, we also have location services. Uh, I mean, you know, the list goes on and on. We're, we're a one-stop shop. We help you out with everything. So it all depends on what you are looking for to get started with your ATM business. So just let us know. Go ahead and comment CEO. Let us know. We'll reach out to you. We'll jump on a one, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, fifteen-minute info, info call. Let you know everything you need to need to know from prices to everything. And you know, if, if we're a great fit for you, we can help you out. Um, is it better to open up an LLC or um, or a ink uh, a corporation? Is that what you mean? Um, so a limited liability company, or in other words, your LLC. Um, I would recommend you to do as a beginner because. What I've heard from my experience as a business owner is a corporation or an S Corp, C Corp is only recommended if you're generating over $100,000 in revenue. Um, so if you're not generating over hundred k in revenue from your business, which you probably won't when at the beginning of your ATM business, um, it's you're better off starting off with an LLC. Later on down the line, you can transition your LLC to an S Corp or a C Corp. Um, if you start up with the S Corp or a C Corp, it's a little harder to uh, transition down to an LLC. So always start off with an LLC and then you could always work your way up. All right, guys, um, that, that's pretty much going to be it for tonight's live training. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, tonight's live training. I, I hope you guys, you know, learned a lot from it. Um, if you guys are watching the replay, don't, don't hesitate to comment down your questions. Don't hesitate to comment down below CEO. We'll reach out to you and we'll let you know if we still have spots available to help you out with your ATM business. But with that being said, guys, it was it is your boy Juan Geronimo, guys, here at ATM Business for, uh, for Beginners. Um, but with that being said, guys, it was a pleasure to jump on here and help you guys out. And I will see you guys next Tuesday at 5 p.m. Central Standard, uh, Pacific Standard, 7 p.m. Central Standard, and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard, guys.